since we've had a sit down and talk about hot new luxury items, I've got a roundup for you today. These are pieces that are like selling out rapidly or we're hearing a lot of chatter about them or that I just want you to know about because I'm like, this is a good one and um, I just need to let you know. <laughs> Links will be below or in the shopping button on the screen if they're available. Everything is very sort of spring summer vibes, but um, we've got some interesting pieces today. I've got one of you to blame for this, okay? A subscriber DM'd me and was like, have you seen this bag? And I had not. And now that I know of this bag, this is terrible knowledge to hold inside. And so I like, if I'm going down, I have to take you down with me. This is the Prada bucket bag with the crystal handle. We're used to like a bedazzled bag, right? The Crystal Prada re-edition, stuff like that, especially from Prada, okay? They do little um, sort of uh, little mini bags, all bedazzled, all of that. What we haven't seen and what I think is a beautiful combination is the Prada nylon along with these chunky crystal gems acting as the handle. Is it a simple concept? Yes. And you might go, Cassie, that is such a simple thing for you to be foaming at the mouth for, but I can't help it, okay? I opened that little picture and my heart was beating. I really like this in the brown with the orange strap. There is green on green, and the green of the crystals is like a slime green, which you know is personally my favorite kind of green. There is a black with white crystals. There is a red with red crystals. I think that those are all the ones that I know of at the moment. You've got the classic little Prada re-nylon bucket bag, but in place of a little top handle, you've got these chunky jewels. Um, it also means that when you crossbody the bag, because it comes with a crossbody strap, the jewels sort of drape across the front of the bag. So they're still on show. They're still, you know, able to be adored from all angles. And I, just really like it, okay? It's very up my alley, don't act surprised that I think that this is a great piece because you should expect as such. Guys, if you're new here, my name is Cassie, I'm a self-diagnosed luxury addict. I put out videos on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays, so if you like luxury fashion, then you're gonna love it here. So head down there, subscribe, turn the bell, become a member of our luxury addicted family. When are we going to rehab? <laughs> Never. The next one is a pair of sunglasses. These are by Saint Laurent, I believe these are called the Amelia. Oh, have I made that up? No. I have in fact got that correct. If you look at the description, there's a lot of very technical terms like floating injection frames. And while I kind of understand what they mean here, it just looks like a little magic trick on the eyes. You've got this fabulous gold frame that's keeping everything together. And then the, everything looks like cut out and floating. And how is that happening? And oh my gosh, which wizardry has been done to create this effect? And either way, I think it looks great. I love the really skinny frame of the, like the arms of the sunglasses with then these little sort of, you know, interesting bits cut out at the side with the tiny Cassandra YSL logo. These come in black with gold and the gold with tortoise shell as well. I'm sorry, that from the side? Chic. Many C's, many H's, many I's, many C's. I'm intrigued, I'm interested, I like it. I think that these are really, really good. Miu Miu is a hot brand. Miu Miu is a brand that everybody's like, Hawkeyes, um, the big fashion girlies are buying slash working with Miu Miu. We're seeing them a lot. One of the pieces that is going to do well this summer are their cord sandals. So they do this in two styles. The first style is fine. The second style is the style that I'm like, if I was gonna get this, is the one I'd get. If you like a very low to the ground um, profile sandal, a thong style sandal, if you don't mind that little in interjection between your first two toes, some people really hate that, some people really don't mind it, then these are sort of surf inspired with the bungee cord detail. There is um, an adjustable sort of Velcro strap that goes around the back of the, of the foot to keep everything in place. And I will say that although flat to the floor things, I'm like, oh, where's the support? These do have like a bit of a, um, a comfort rubberized, a something, a bit of padding in there <laughs> to give you something. But the other version of these I think is great is that that T that comes down the front of the foot is all crystalled in similar crystal, similar to Prada bag, okay? See how everything's coming full circle. All of the pieces, the puzzle is coming together. I think that that looks nice, especially against the black. I think it adds a little bit of glamour to a very overtly casual shoe. 
And I think that that's kind of fab. You know, whatever your summer plans are, I think that that's a really good one. Moving on to another pair of shoes that is questionable. I'm not, look, my thing here is I'm gonna tell you whether or not I like the shoe. Okay, that's my, that's my little job I've given myself. These are shockingly selling out. These are the Chanel flip-flops. They are the most simple of flip-flops. They are just black velvet flip-flops with the tiniest of CCs on one of the little straps there. And that's it. There is nothing else going on. A Haviana has got more going on than this shoe. All right, they're even thinner than Haviana. I've been seeing people unbox this on my TikTok and I'm like, how has this become a thing? And the girl's like, oh, they're so comfy. It's like, what is there to be comfortable? You're walking on a piece of cardboard wrapped in velvet. Like, okay, fine, maybe that was a bit much. I've never actually put my toes in them. I won't put my toes, I don't see myself ever trying them on. But if I ever were to, I might be pleasantly surprised. But I'm just saying, based on me using my eyes to look, I don't get it, especially because I think they're like around a thousand dollars for those flip flops. Moving into something else that is extortionate, but you can kind of see why. Loewe dropped their Paula's Ibiza collection officially this week. They did a little pre-drop of this specific item on My Teresa and it sold out. However, I will say, we don't know the quantities of My Teresa, it might have been one of each. Either way, they have done these fruit inspired versions of the squeeze bag. And whilst I'm not the biggest fan of the squeeze bag, I think that these are just such an amazing display of artistry and craftsmanship because the beading is phenomenal. Also the fact that their fruit just makes it fun, okay? They've got a watermelon, the strawberry kills me because you have the, the body of the bag is the red of the strawberry with its little seeds and then the handle has got the green fringe. Oh gosh, that is just, what? That just makes you smile. You just look at it and you go, wow, okay. I was having a very inconvenient day, but that's a bit fun. And so, although they are $7,000, 500, 500 pounds, 500, 500, 5,500 pounds, and we're seeing like a lot of price increases. There's something like that that I'm like, okay, at least you're showing me why, because at least you can see that this has taken time and there's the artistry behind it and that it looks so intricate and things like that, okay? Am I, am I spending my money on it? No, I'm not, okay? But I'm just saying, I can sort of see it for something like that as opposed to, you know, the Roma go back. But anyway, there's also the passion fruit. I did have confirmation, I was unsure of what the yellow one was. And then I looked on their website and they have said, they have confirmed it is a passion fruit. Moving on to another bag, the Alia La Tecla. I've talked about this a number of times, so I'm just gonna briefly, this bag is very much, um, gaining in traction, blah, 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 people are loving it, and I get it, I see it. I saw it as soon as I saw this bag, I was like, that's a great sodding bag. But they've recently done a sort of campaign with the Dancers of Crazy Horse. Crazy Horse in Paris, if you're over the age of 18, is excellent. It is fantastic, it is worth your money. I've been once, I am not opposed to going every single time that I step my foot into Paris. It's just, it's so, so brilliantly done. But anyway, so they've kind of got these sheer Alaya turtleneck dresses, love, paired with the corresponding color of the Latekel bags. Some of the new colors are like a butter yellow. There is a light blue that's available, but a Tiffany blue does exist. Unfortunately, this is all going to depend on which stores have bought what color. I got in touch with the New York store, for example, they're not getting the Tiffany blue in, they're also not getting the bright yellow, which are the shoe colours that I was like, hmm, maybe I need to skip over there. There's also a lilac, I don't know if that's coming out. So if you're interested, do a bit of digging around. Okay, so the next ones, I've got, I'm bundling them together. These are Chanel sunglasses. Some of these are selling out. Some of these are like, uh, uh, Bear with me. So the first one, I'm going to go in terms of price. We're gonna start with the cheapest. The good thing about Chanel sunglasses is, is, that, is that they are available online on their website. Okay, the only thing, that and I think fine jewelry. And the price of the first pair especially is very much reasonable compared to, the, reasonable in the world of Chanel, okay? So the first pair are these sort of cat eye style, very timeless with the contrasting CC, on the side. I know that they do other colour combinations except for the black and white. So I would I would basically keep an eye on those and see if they get restocked if this is something that you're into. The second pair, and this is the pair that I personally think is genius, they do this in a square style and a butterfly style. 
if you look at the arm, there is a little heart, CC um, charm of sorts, like a little something adorning the side. And if you open it, it's a tiny mirror. I love it. I think it's brilliant. I think it's genius. I think it's so cute. The next one, I saw this. I found it interesting. I have slight beef. This is the Hermes Balouzoui? Balouzoua bag. Anyway, it is essentially a little bag made out of an Hermes scarf with a little leather handle. There is no leather base. That annoyed me because I was like, you expect me to take this bag that is not cheap out on the town, out and about with me. She's swinging around my elbow in the spring, summer, wherever I may find myself, okay? In these streets, on a beach, whatever. And you want me to put my bag down and it's fully silk. That is, honestly, that is a slap in the face. As, especially because this bag is, I think, like $2,500. Um, it wasn't listed on the website because I think they've all sort of sold out on the website, probably only available in store, blah, blah. I would like to see if this is a little bit more, it's got a little bit more construction maybe on the inside compared to the outside that just looks like you've just got the four corners of a scarf, brr, bit of a leather thing. I do think, I saw it though and I was like, oh, this is nice, this is fun. If this is a good price, I might, you know, have one for, for the summer. Obviously I didn't take into account the non-leather base and, um, and, and the actual price. So I went into store and I saw one. This is the biggest waste of money, do not get it. There is zero added construction. I thought that it would be like the silk bag and then the inside it had a bit of a lining. No, this is just a silk scarf with a leather handle. It has zero structure. You put that down, it's spreading, okay? So yeah, this is absolutely not worth it full stop. Even more not worth it because of the price. The other thing I'm sort of like putting you on early or I'm like stating my opinion early. Dior did a pre fall collection in New York at the Brooklyn Museum and they did a couple of pieces that are very New York specific. One that don't, was absolutely heinous. It was like a print that is the American and the French flag and it just, I'm lost for words actually. But there are other, and nicer, it's New York specific pieces that I think will perform really well. The Dior book tote that has the New York skyline at the bottom of it and the Dior Toujours bag in almost, it looks like a canvas with the black, um, again, New York skyline. I think those are gonna do well. I think those are going to be like, you know, fingers on the buzzers, get in touch with your essays if you're really, really wanting one. The next item that I've seen unboxed a lot are the Chanel Mary Jane ballet flats. We know the original Chanel ballet flats, obviously, but these have like a little buckle strap across the, across the foot and they're sort of very childlike. In a ribbed material, there's a white, there's a contrasting one, um, but yeah, people seem to like them. The next thing that I think is going to do particularly well is again Miu Miu and this is the Wonder bag, we know the Wonder style, but it's crocheted. So they have two colours of this, they have beige with like a dark brown crocheting logo on the front or you have white with a beige logo. Comes with a crossbody strap and when it comes to summer, people love the crochet, people love the raffia, the wicker basket totes, all of those sorts of things. And I think this, especially for spring, summer, especially if you want something that's going to be easy to pack, that thing, you could roll it up into the corner of your case and it was just gonna fling out looking great. I don't know, I've not tried it, but you get what I'm saying. She's easy to pack. This one, I knew this one was going to be popular. And if I, oh, if I had the funds, I would have jumped on this so quickly. This is the Louis Vuitton Tyler the Creator collection, specifically the light denim multicolor LVs. So they did this in a pair of dungarees, jacket and a pair of jeans. The jeans, there's like pink, blue, green, red, little like some of the LVs are done with it. You have like the little leather patch that sort of shows that it's from the Tyler the Creator collection. It's just very fun. I know that it was sort of part of the men's section, but you get the jeans, you have it tailored that with a white t-shirt. What? What 
it was so good anyway they complete i know that they completely sold out in in new york i don't know about other areas and things like that i know online i saw one i saw one size in no way was i surprised that that did well because i thought like out of everything in terms of ready to wear those are the winners anyway let me know what you think of the hot new items currently at the moment i'm going to leave a link to another video over here in case you haven't already seen it have an amazing morning afternoon or evening wherever you are and in the words of my father if you've enjoyed it tell your friends if you haven't keep your mouth shut i'll see you in my next video Mwah. bye guys